Welcome to a video tutorial on M3U Player, an app that you can run on your Windows 10 desktop as I'm doing right now, Windows 10 Mobile or Windows 10 Team. And uh, this is an app that you definitely want to have in your device if your intent is to be able to watch free internet TV. So uh, if you're interested in watching international television, then you know truly consider having this app. And another benefit of it is that you can use it to generate M3U playlists that contain nothing but valid or live links. So um, let me show you how, how to use the app. And uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the color of the theme. You can do this by clicking settings and switching to the desired color and uh, closing the app for the change to take effect. So the next time you launch it, it the color that's going to be active is the one that you selected earlier. And uh, the easiest way to get started is by having this option selected, letting the app do the search for you. And the way it can conduct its search is by you entering a keyword that represents the type of television that you're looking for. So if you're interested in watching, uh, let's say, Greek TV, then you will enter, you know, enter a keyword that represents that um, inten intention, okay? So, um, and, um, but you, you're not limited to entering keywords or, you know, the names of countries for a keyword. You can enter any, any category of television that you're interested in. It can be sports, it can be documentaries, it can be um, uh, thrillers, whatever. So, um, for country and for language, I recommend leaving it to the default settings of United States and English, uh, even though it makes sense, it would seem like, you know, you should, you know, let the country and language match the, the keyword, if the keyword is a country. I have found that um, these, these settings tend to return the greatest number of results, so I'll leave them as they are. Um, depth. Now, depth represents the extent of the search. So, depth uh, ranges from 1 to 5. And if you do a depth 1 search initially, and you found that it didn't return as many channels as you had hoped for, you can opt for a higher number of depth. Just keep in mind that even a depth 1 search can take a long time, though. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and click search now. And... Um, so off the app goes now to scour the web and look for M3U playlist files related to the keyword entered and uh, process the files and test uh, all the M3U8 play links that it finds in those files. And this is a message that pops up uh, close to the beginning of the search. And it's a very useful message because it tells you how many links it found. It found 277 links. And it also gives you an estimate of the time that it will take it to test each one of these links because it will only retain the valid links, the ones that deliver streaming video and uh, discard all the rest. So it's going to take 13 minutes to go through 277 links, but this is an approximate value of the time. So um, I'm going to click close to let it continue. And I'm going to pause the video and uh, resume once it has hopefully found valid uh, channels, okay? Okay, several minutes later, it has returned roughly three dozen channels, and these are, so out of the th uh, 300, was it 277? I, I forget the number of links that it stated earlier, but out of all those links, only um, about three dozen were found to be valid, so these are now presented as channels that you can select and watch live uh, streaming video. And they're all unique channels, so there's no duplicates and they have all been tested for validity. So, um, the next uh, screen is the channels presentation screen where you can see the channels and uh, if you wish you can select uh, an individual channel, select it 
and then if you are on a mouse screen do a right click and it will pop up a window that will let you change the, the name of the channel so um, I can let's say just make a change you know uh, my channel my favorite channel whatever and um, this will replace the original name you can't edit the uh, the link and you don't want to actually and you can also do collective changes to the links such as select them all and uh, delete them all or unselect some of them and uh, delete the rest and another really cool thing you can do in this screen is export this information into a text file you do this by clicking export and um, agreeing to save the file and if you open the file then this is what the information looks like it's all it's basically an m3u playlist and uh, it contains m3u8 links which have all been tested and are all uh, valid or, or live and um, okay and it doesn't matter what you have selected here even if you have nothing selected and you click export all this information all these channels are going to be exported or included into that into the playlist file now let's go back to the initial starting screen and um, I'd like to show you what the other searches uh, or what what the other options look like so this was a, a keyword based search and it was really easy and it yield, yielded a lot of results but there may be times when you want to do your a very specific search because you know a specific website and um, this gives you a chance to look for that website and um, but if you don't know a website and you just want to do a, a search for m3u8 playlists then I recommend entering words or keywords such as m3u8 and xtinf and maybe IPTV and free and then the keyword a keyword that represents the type of playlist files you want to find so if you want to find let's say Brazilian playlists then these are the types these are the keywords you would likely enter and you can scroll down the search results page and examine each of these search results one by one and it's very easy to do so because all you do is click on the link and it's very important to wait for the page to load and you're gonna see that notification here on the status bar and um, okay so um, this page is loaded and once it's loaded then uh, simply click process site content and here I just found 19 links okay and you can maybe search for another you're gonna maybe test another search link it was easy to do you know I, I don't know if you noticed but I just clicked back and now I can just click on the other search link and begin to scroll down and inspect it and yeah I see that it has m3u8 link links so this one is 25 so you can see why sorry you can see why the keyword option is a lot more efficient or a lot faster because you know the that's when you let the the app do all the searching for you it just goes in and checks all these search results by itself but if you prefer to you know do specific search results then you know you have this option okay let's just uh, check one more okay so it's still loading it hasn't said it completed 
Anyway, I'm going to click process, but I'm going to say it's probably going to read zero. Yeah, zero, because it didn't load, actually. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to do a few um, trials just to show you what it looks like. And then uploading a file. Now, this is the option where you have a playlist file saved, like the one saved earlier. And you can choose this option to upload this M3U playlist file to the app. Uh, it's got to be a text file. And... Um, and if it does, if you do that, then it will go ahead and process that file. So I don't remember where I saved that file, but let me try find it. Um, oh yeah. Okay, so it's got 34 links. Yeah, my estimate was three dozen, so that's that was close. So yeah. And uh, as as was the case before, you know, it just goes and examines all these links, but all of these are valid, so it's going to give me that number of channels. Okay. So it's a very simple, simple to use app. It's very easy, very intuitive. It's just got four, four different screens, as you saw. This is the initial screen that lets you do searches either by keyword or by you uh, testing search results that you, you generate yourself by entering keywords like, once again, I recommend using keywords like M3U8XTINF and maybe IPTV and free. And then the keyword that represents the type of TV you wanna, you are looking for, the type of channels you're looking for. So Italy, for example, or whatever. So that's the other option. And the third option is to upload a file. And this was the initial screen. And this is the, um, uh, the progress screen that shows you that where the app indicates when it's busy working, processing M3U8 playlist files, opening them, and uh, reading all the links in those files and testing those links. You get this information on this screen and the status bar as well. And uh, this is the play player uh, screen where you, of course, can watch your um, international TV. And uh, you can select the channels. And finally, there is the channels presentation screen where you can make changes to the channels, change their names or delete channels. And um, quite importantly, generate M3U playlists. So this is the app and I, I hope that you find it useful. I'm sure you're going to find it useful. And um, thanks for watching the video, the tutorial. And uh, please your, leave your comments below the video and um, do a review on the app. Thanks. Bye-bye for now.